Hi, I'm Brad with Papercut Support and today I'll be showing you how to assign administrator level access in Papercut. Firstly, a bit of background about administrator access. Papercut sets up one administrator account called admin. This is considered the master administrator account which you will assign a password for when you first install Papercut. Although you could give everyone the master password, a much better option is assigning administrator level rights through the admin interface. This ensures a higher degree of control as to exactly which paper cut functions the administrator has access to. Most of the activity is audited so that any changes can be sourced to an individual. It also means they can log in with their existing username and password so they won't have yet another password to remember. You can assign administrator access for either an individual user or an existing group. So firstly, what we'll have to do is log in to the admin interface using your existing admin user credentials. Then scroll down to options. over to admin rights. Then if we want to assign access to an existing group, we just go here, select the group. In this example, I'm going to select the power users group. Click add group. You'll see they'll be added here as having full access. And by clicking on the edit button under actions, you'll be taken to the what's called the access control list. Here you can determine which specific functions the administrator will have access to in Papercut. As you can see, the access list is presented as a list of checkboxes that can be enabled or disabled depending on the required level of access. As a default, all these options will be enabled but you can use the clear all button up here to quickly remove access to all the options. So in this example, I'd like to give the power users group access to everything except for the ability to change admin rights. So to do so, I would just click select all, scroll down, and I can disable those two particular functions from here. Once you're satisfied with the selections you've made, at the bottom of the page just click apply. And if you click OK, you can verify that the user order group is now being assigned as an administrator. And as you can see here now, it's showing as limited access instead of the full access it showed earlier. And of course, it's just as easy to assign access to an individual user. Simply click the section here, find the user, click Add User, and then again the Edit button. In this example, I would like to give this individual the ability to view and edit user-specific settings but disable access to everything else. So I would just hit clear all, select the settings relevant to users, and then apply the changes. Click OK. And you can again see the user listed here as having admin access and the access type is limited. For good security practice, we recommend granting the administrator the minimum level of access needed for them to do their job. It's also a good idea to test by having them log in and verify that they can access what they need to. And finally, be sure to let your newly minted administrators know that they should be using the following URL to access the admin interface including the slash admin instead of slash user, which they may be used to. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.